Hi, it's Angela Prophet, and you're tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV. Today's tip is actually putting the backup plan in place. And make sure you communicate to everyone. Here's the situation. So we were planning an outdoor wedding in December in Nashville, which normally wouldn't happen, but for some reason our weather over the past few years has been crazy. It's been 65 degrees on a December day if it's sunny. And so we were planning this amazing, cool, intimate outdoor wedding where the bride and groom was staying in the middle and we had really cool benches all the way around. And the clients were so excited about the ceremony set up, but we had to have a backup plan. And so the backup plan was getting married inside the venue where the dinner would happen, but downstairs. There was a pool downstairs and it was covered. It was super cool, but it was winter. And so it kind of felt weird getting married over a pool as a backup option, which was gonna end up being our dance floor at the end anyway. But I just said, no, nah, that's our backup plan, it's no big deal. We can price out a tent if you wanted to do that, but why not just use the space that we already have, right? It's free, or it comes with the venue. So sure enough, the wedding got here and it was raining. It rained Friday, it rained Saturday, I knew it was gonna rain. And so at rehearsal, it stopped raining. And so we went ahead and had the rehearsal outside. And then I mentioned and referenced having the rehearsal indoors if we needed to, but they were like, no, no, it's okay. Let's just go on if it rains tomorrow, which again, I looked at the forecast and I kind of knew it was gonna rain, but I have had other weddings before where it said it was gonna rain and we were still able to go through with our plan. So I didn't push it but I should have because the next day it never stopped. And so we had to move the wedding inside and they got married over a pool. Again, super cool, but instead of going all the way around like the original plan, we had to do like a U-shaped, which threw everybody off. It threw the bridesmaids, the groomsmen, the parents, the grandparents. So I wish I could back up rewind and redo the rehearsal, but it all worked out. There was a little bit of confusion and I feel like people were a tad bit stressed but it still looked cool and it still worked well. The guests went into dinner. We were able to flip the room for the reception and still have the dance floor. The coolest part is when the minister pronounced them as husband and wife and they kissed, thunder went off really, really loud. It was almost as if it were planned. So that was the cool part about the rain. And I always tell couples when it rains on their wedding day, which doesn't happen very often, that it's supposed to be good luck. I've, I've heard that. So they're still married, they're doing great. And just remember that if you have to put the backup plan in place, make sure that you over communicate so everybody knows what's going on. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, angelaprofit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.